Hello, uh, welcome to my seventh report on the hydroponic basil bubble bucket. As you can see, we're doing well. Turn that off for a second. Oh yeah. About 20, 25 centimetres tall. Uh, still green. There is one major big problem though. One major big problem? One major big problem. The roots. I thought this was a pH problem. But now I believe it is a pythium problem. Which is a pathogen. Pythium the pathogen. And it's a little bug basically that hangs off the end of the roots starves the roots and uh, you can get rid of this, you can get stuff for hydroponics kits and things like that that gets rid of it I don't know the names off the top of my head, I need, I need to get some but it's, uh, this hasn't come down to a pH problem the plants are still doing well, they are still green but if I don't treat this then they are most probably gonna die. Well, they get eaten before then. I'm not gonna. They've got this far. I may as well eat them. Might change the new, the water as well. Ah, that one looks like it's doing well though. I'll, I'll look at that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hey, look at that. That one's doing well. It's got roots right to the bottom. It's got nice white roots at the end anyway. It's starting to get infected by the Pythium pathogen. Put that back in, see if there's another good one. See this big ass motherfucker. Shouldn't have really swarm then. Let's see. It's weird because, uh, let's see. Got such a huge plant. It's 20, this is the biggest one. This one's about 25 centimeters by the looks of them. But the roots are getting harmed quite substantially. It looks like it is trying to get some new little roots out. I'm so sorry about the focus. But it's been attacked. So I'm going to get some of this. Uh, remover sort it out a little bit oh. no it's just a light on the other side it looks brown through the leaves but it's actually green so they're still flourishing but I think they're being hindered by the uh, the disease they've caught so I'm gonna sort it out I've had a little read up about it and um, they say to keep it as clean as possible, so I might give it a clean out, change the water or whatever. They say more air, so I'll have to get a proper air stone, I think, and um, see how it goes from there and get some pythium remover and some pH down. I've got a few things to do, so it's uh, it's been a learning, learning curve anyway. I'll stick this back under it. I love the pink glow that you get from this light. You can't tell if your plants are green underneath it though. But the light still seems to be doing well as well. If you haven't seen my other report, this is a LED LED light. And this was only 14 quid, so I tried to make it the, the least expensive as possible. And uh, they seem to be doing well, they're, they're growing towards it. And they're, uh, they seem pretty sturdy. Not too bad for Basil. So thanks for watching my report and uh, if you have any comments or any suggestions please leave them below. Thank you.